Hello! This video is part of a series of resources for Texas property owners focusing on single family owners. My name is Pat O'Connor with O'Connor & Associates and today's topic is does it make sense to file a property tax protest if there's a big difference between market value and assessed value and what in the heck is the difference between market value and assessed value? Well, there's only a difference between market value and assessed value for some homesteads. Homesteads have a 10% cap in the assessed value. The, the home, homestead assessed value can increase by only 10% a year, and it's the lesser of 110% of last year's value or the market value, whichever is less. So let's take an example. Last year, your property was valued at 200,000, the appraisal district goes wild this year and they increase it all the way up to 300,000, a 50% increase. Well, fortunately, because of the cap, your assessed value only goes up to 220,000. So the 220 is the lesser of 110% of last year's assessed value and the 300,000. Now, a lot of people who see this might go, well, why protest? There's no chance of winning. Well, you do have a good chance of reducing the market value and keeping that base value as low as possible is important and it requires protesting each and every year. So let's say you hired us to protest for you and we hit a home run. We reduced the assessed value from, I'm sorry, the market value from 300,000 all the way down to 230,000, just $10,000 above the cap or the assessed value of 220,000. So how much is our fee for that? Nothing, we don't charge a fee. We believe that our interest should be aligned with yours and that we should only make money when we reduce your property taxes. So now let's fast forward to 2018 and for the, let's assume that the appraisal district leaves the value at 230,000. Now, the assessment of 220 would have increased to 242,000, 110% of 220,000, if you hadn't protested. However, in this case, it only goes up to the 230,000 because it's the lesser of 110% of last year's value or the market value, which is at 230,000. So again, do we charge you for that? No, we would only charge you if we reduced the 230,000 to a lower level. So it's important to protest each and every year to keep the base value at the lowest possible level. And you just don't know because the protest process is capricious and arbitrary, whether you're gonna be working with someone who's reasonable, an appraiser who's reasonable or unreasonable. So go now to the Texas Fairness Checker, cutmytaxes.com. It's free, requires no personal information, and takes less than a minute, and you'll find out if you're fairly valued or not. But in either case, be sure to file a protest so you keep pressing down on that base value because the appraisal district will focus on it intensely every year you protest. The protest deadline is May 31st, so get your protest filed now, and best luck for a successful protest in 2017.